Hey, Valicia, it's Tammy. Thank you for talking to me today and um, taking the time to watch this video. So today I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to be at the top of Google search and beat out your competitor who I put in as Arling Haas Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning. So you're probably wondering why I'm making this video for you, and it's pretty simple. Most business owners are too busy running their business and taking care of their customers that they don't have time to learn how the internet can bring them more customers. And the only thing stopping them from hiring somebody is that they don't know who's an expert and who's not. So what I started doing was just creating these attack plans and giving them away for free. Some people take this information and do it themselves. Other people call me back and say, Tammy, I really like what you said. I just don't have the time to do it. Could you do it for me? So whatever you decide to do is totally fine with me. My only goal is to educate you a little bit and make you a lot of money. So today we're just going to talk about three things, content, backlinks, and citations. So when I, I just want to say when I got on your website, I like that you got your logo right up at the top and um, the picture here of your company vans. Google, however, doesn't really care what your website looks like. They mostly care about the content, which is all the words in here that you can read. And the more um, content you have, the better, because it'll make Google look at you like you're an authority. And the average ad on Google has about 1,500 words of content. So I put you into wordcounter.net just to kind of speed things up. And you're at 303. So getting closer, if not having that total 1,500 keywords would definitely optimize your website and put you um, in a better position to get to that number one spot on Google. And the more words you have, the more keywords you can stuff in there and really get your page to rank as well. And um, also your pictures you could save as keywords too. So um, instead of just download, I'll give you some examples of what you could save it as. <clears throat> Excuse me. The second thing I wanted to talk about is backlinks. So a backlink is a website that has a link to your website, and that link to your website could potentially bring you more traffic. And it's really important to keep in mind, though, that not all backlinks are created equal. So you're going to get a lot more power and trust from Google if you have other um, HVAC companies linking to you versus Pizza Hut, because Google knows that you're not a pizza company. So we do have a paid tool called Arifs that we use to check out um, analytics for websites. So I already put you in up here at the top. So the UR is the trust that Google has in your website. So um, as marketers, we like to see this filled up a little bit more. And um, again, with the backlinks, if you would have um, more backlinks and relevant backlinks as well, um, if those links trust you, then that helps build your trust with Google. So um, that would help you to um, definitely get this up a little bit. Um, also backlinks, you have six. So you have three sites um, linking back to you. You have 18 organic keywords and you're getting some organic traffic too, which is good. Now I'm gonna show you what your competitor is doing just because they've already spent thousands of dollars doing the hard work for you. All you have to do is copy them. If it's good enough to get them ranked on the first page, it's good enough to get you too. Okay, so here you can see they have 2000 backlinks. So what you would have to do to get more backlinks and not necessarily, you don't need 2000. I've seen other people um, on the front page with 500. As long as they're relevant, it's more important the um, quality than quantity. But just for an example, you could click on each one of these that they're associated with, create an account. Um, you just have to write a comment in there and then you can request a link. And that'll serve as a backlink to your website and give it more power and get you ranking a little better. As far as keywords goes, um, they do have more content. So they're able to stuff in more keyword organic keywords, which is why they're getting so much organic traffic. So some keywords that you could save your pictures as, this is the search volume per month. So um, 300 people each month are searching, why does my AC keep turning off? I mean, you could simply save a picture as that, even if on um, like a Facebook page too, save all your pictures as keywords, fan mode on AC, air conditioning fan mode. So just to give you some example, um, the third thing I just wanted to touch on was citation. So a citation is your business name, address, and phone number um, in various directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Facebook, um, BBB. So in order to get in this um, top position here that we call the map pack, you have to go out and um, get the citations that they're in. 
and um, you don't want to just stop there, go out and grab a few more. Um, so that way you're really dominating your competition when it comes to content, backlinks, and citations. Um, and that'll really help you to rank here in the search too. So it's really important to be in the top three here, um, organically, not a uh, paying ad, but 30% of the revenue goes to the businesses right here. And then the rest of the 70 goes to the other businesses down here that are not listed with, um, that are here organically, not like with Angie's list or anything. So those would all be paying because they're ads. Services, survey to be research. There's actually no other organic ones up there. So they'd probably be on page two, which all these are paying. So if you're going to get the revenue, if you want to increase your revenue, you got to be up here in the top three. If you have any more questions about how to get there, please don't hesitate to reach out or if you feel like you want to scale further, um, we could talk over more information for more information. I could do more research for you to find out exactly what could be a realistic goal for your business and what it might take to reach those goals. So my phone number and email are at the bottom of this. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.